so hello 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 welcome back guys to my youtube channel as i mentioned in the next parts of monday's video i told i will show you how to apply for control and micro uh, micro systems and microelectronics for the course uh, for the course this and from the college university of bremen if you're new to this channel please don't forget to like share and uh, subscribe then we can jump into the course where we, i will show you how to apply now for the course control microsystem and microelectronics from the website that they have mentioned here you can just click on re registration and requirements and re the requirements i have already gone through it you just have to have a bachelor degree and it is com uh, course specific which will be like closely related to electrical engineering you should have above average results they have not mentioned but as a german standard you should have 2.5 or below or the best is 2.3 or below then you should have a certificate of english language proficiency which will be c1 level which will come to 7 and above then application is 15th october you can just click on it then you can click on university of bremen master english where you can just see the master profile of university of bremen where you have your overview master pdf online application blah 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 and other things so here the best thing you can just do is overview of master which i told here we are going and focusing on communication microsystem and microelectronics this is the thing that we are focusing you can just see it is only in summer semester 15 10 or which will be until summer semester or only offered in summer semester where you have to have 140 cp 2.7 and but as i told i don't show you guys how to apply as i told you can click on online application and once you are in this page you can just directly log in if you don't want to log in or if you don't have access to log in then you can create a new account here and i have shown you how to create and how to create a new account and log in so you can just look for the first part of this university of bremen cit application but as we have a account already i can just go and directly log in and here we are already it so you can click on candidate uh, candidates and here you can just see the course that we have already applied which is master of science cit next if we want to apply for cmm you can just click on search in range of courses here we are already here in the first step of previous video you can click on compartment here in compartment we have to go through for control microsystem in microelectronics this is the course that we want to study and type of degree we want to study it as a master of science and semester start of semester will be one as i mentioned this will differ if you are say example in the same university i i got a good example to give you so same university you have done cit for one semester and you think think thought like i don't want to study this and i want to shift to cmm then you have to click here second because one semester you have already done it in cit in the same course it doesn't have to be in the same course it has to be in the closely closely related courses then you can apply inside the college also and also with the outside college also and jump into second semester but here as we are starting as a new we will start from semester one then here in the semester which term you are starting we are starting or planning to start in summer semester 2025 then you we can just search it as soon as you search you can get the control master system master electronics the application is open that's the reason it is showing that you can apply so say example if i click on winter term 2020 5 2026 it will don't show because it will say it doesn't match with anything because that course is not even offered in winter term 2025 that's the reason we have to apply for summer term 2025 and you can click on apply as soon as you clicked on apply i think people who have seen cit application you would have known this page where you have to fill all other details so we'll jump quickly jump into it and fill everything so in the personal details i have filled everything that's good it is only taking it so i can just explain everything rather than filling and cutting copying so it's good so here in the personal details you have to give your mr and mrs based on your gender and forename or your first name last name your date of birth and place your birth and country your birth so other than that if you have a second nationality then you can click and apply it otherwise you can click on save and you can click on further where you will just see the next part of it in the next part where you have to give your address home address where you have to give your home address which will be india 
where your citizenship is there then after that you can just give your home address i have given dummy address just to be showing for you guys then you can click on save and click on further so as soon as you clicked on further then they will ask is it the same home address as your contact address if you don't have a different postal address please enter the same as your home address so this will just like some people will have postal address different some people have home address different that's the reason they have asked you so if everything both are same then you can get, give the same thing then you can click on save and click on further as soon as you clicked here then they have to have a you have to give your email address mandatory and this email address will be taken based on the email that you have registered and created the uh, login already so don't need to worry it will be already there so you can just click on directly save and click on further after it you can just see our course is ready we with the uh, compartment or uh, compartment which we are gonna study is cmm appro approval fees proficiency test required which is uh, english that they are asking so no minor subjects choice possible so this is the major that we are choosing and exam regulation will be under control microsystem and microelectronics mpo then change degree program or subject so please select change degree program or subject if you would like to start a new degree program in the next semester for which you are currently applying and finish the current degree program so you would like to start a new course uh, study at the university of bremen for next semester so this is complicated but as I mentioned, I always focus on people who are applying first time. So we are good to go. You can just click on save to save what you have filled it from previous things and you can click on further here. As soon as you clicked on further, you have to agree on your applying for master admission the first semester. Yes, we are agreeing for it and you can click on save and click on further. So now you have to give your master control master system for microelectronics you have to give your university entrance qualification and master entrance qualification as i mentioned university master entrance qualification will be your 12th or pre-university college depending on the uh, cities you have studied or uh, states you studied in our state we used to call that as a pre-university college but in some of the state they have normalized it as 10 and plus 2 which is 12th standard but for us we had to have a pre-university college so it's the same thing before you joined your bachelor's engineering or any of the bsc msc which are closely related to engineering the thing that you have done is the university entrance qualification you have to give that details so that details when your degree qualified or the university entrance qualification is done based on your puc mask card you will have this date you can just mention and there are some cases where people have said me that in their degree mask card they have only month and year in that case just choose number one or a first of that month so then the problem will be solved 